Okay, so this question is number of days between two dates. So, yeah, between string 1, string 2, find the difference. And then, just look at the solution. Alright. So, what we can do is we can find um, all of the, you know, date to day. Day, date. To day, and then we will say, okay, this is string one day, and string two day, uh, string uh, string two date. Alright, so um, I'm gonna be honest with you. This is straightforward. So you, who, the only thing that we need to do is we want to think about a leap year, right? So again, um. Let me convert it. So public since uh, get a since one nine seven one, and then you have date. Right? Right, so again, um, the first thing is the month. So, so I'm gonna copy and paste. Mm, probably this is better. Cool. So January, uh, if I index zero is zero. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, uh, August, September, October, November, December, right? Alright. So um, so I can convert the data split by dash right and then year is going to be represent data is zero but this is a string we need to convert to what integer right so it's be integer dot parsing pass in and this will be year one will be month Two will be date, right? Month, date. Okay, so again, okay. starting from i equal to 1971, and then all the way to uh, years minus one, right? And then we want, we want to make sure is the year is leap year or not. If so, and I want to make sure I plus one, which is going to be 336 or 365. Alright, so public boolean is leap year, in year, and then we want to make sure is year is divisible by four and here is divisible by uh, it's not divisible by 100 all right um or oh, year is divisible by 400 so yeah this is a mathematic you know proof man. you want to do this okay um so we have all we have you know we have Converting a year, right? Now we want to make sure the month. So for in i equal to one, i less than month, i plus plus. So oh, come on. if is leap year at year, so and also i equal to two, which is February, right? It's going to be leap year and then 28 will become 29 but we are but we will add the day plus equal month days at what at i which is going to be we add 28 no matter what we only need to add day one time so it's going to be plus equal one in the if statement and then we will definitely return date right um so 
Yeah, so we, we already had the day already, we plus a year, we plus a month, so it's actually year, month, and day together. So what we need to do for here is we want to make sure the absolute difference between date 1, day 2 is going to be what? Positive number. So let me submit. Okay. All right. So again, this is like math. It's not really important to you know. Um, right solution. So cool. So time and space. Um, this space. I would say constant. This is time. All of you. And it should be constant, right? The data given is what? It's between 1971 to 2100, so it should be a little bit small. Alright, and then, you know, this is like pretty straightforward. It's, it's not testing your coding, it's testing your logic. Alright, so uh, it should be okay. Alright, see you later. Bye.